Hi everyone, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Trini London SPF 30 cream and the Trini, Trini London BFF Serum De-Stress. Both the containers are here. So, first of all, I'm going to be applying four pumps of the BFF cream SPF 30 protection. Put it in both hands just gently like that and then apply it. This is supposed to give you SPF 30 protection and give you a glow. It's still all over my face isn't it? I'm gonna rub it in so don't worry. Put some on my eye. The neck area does give a lovely glow. I'm actually using the camera as a mirror because I'm using a, a camera phone. Just give you a lovely glow. I have used it, I have applied this using the mirror before. So this isn't a first impressions. I just wanted to show you like what I think of it. This glow does does seem to show up on camera, which is great. Lovely. Now I'm gonna use the Trini London BFF De-Stress Serum. Now apparently this is supposed to deal with stress hormones like cortisol and things like that. So this is the MP Triox technology. I love Trini London. I will, I love Trini Woodall by the way. I watch her videos all the time. I just love her energy. She's so funny and she just comes across as a really down to earth woman. She, you know, she's just such a natural. Sorry, that looked. I looked a bit whited out there, didn't I? Unless it's how great this um, really is. Okay. This gives you a lovely dewy glow, I find, when you put this on. It just really wakes up your skin. And it's got hyaluronic acid as well, which helps to plump up the skin, which I do believe. But I will say this, you do have to use a good, you do have to use a moisturiser underneath. Because, I think it's because it's got hyaluronic acid in. And Trini does say this in her videos about hyaluronic acid, how it can be drying. Even though it's plump and it can be drying at the same time, which is kind of a misnomer, but that's how it is. <laughs> Apply it to the neck as well, so everything's even. You can build up the coverage as well, which I find to be true. skin looks amazing in this. Absolutely amazing. Let's apply more on the cheeks. Oh yeah, it's just makes me look lovely and porcelain. And my Trini London um uh match to me, that was it. Uh the match to me I was um I'm porcelain olive so I'm in the light category I actually thought I'd be in the lightest category, but it turns out I'm in the just light category, which makes sense really when you look at me here, because if I used any lighter of a foundation, I would look like a ghost. <laughs> really, wouldn't I? Although I do have to kind of wipe it off my lips because it makes my lips look a bit colourless. If I, or, you know, if that, that goes with any, you know, coverage really, it, you know, so, you know, to be fair, so uh, it does give me a lovely glow. Can you see that sheen? Lovely sheen. It makes my eyes just pop. It's, oh, it's brilliant. Um, chuffed a bit with this. Um, I'm also going to see how this wears. Um, so, I look at the time and it's... Hold on. Okay, so it's 
11.59 now, so in another four hours, I'll check in and you can see how it's worn. And at the minute, I just think it looks amazing. Certainly on camera. I haven't looked at myself in a mirror yet, but I will tell you about that. I think if you were to buy these two products together, you would be spending around £76 at a time for those two things alone. So it can be quite expensive, um, but it really is rewarding as a treat. If you're someone who's more of a, on a budget or who's more mid-price like I am, um, then these will be great for you as a treat. Um, but if you can buy them regularly, I would definitely recommend them so far. And uh, your skin does feel lovely. Mam's tried it out herself and she thinks it's really nice as well. Um, I looked in the mirror and I do look, it does look great. This, uh, this, uh, this BFF SPF 30 cream and the BF, BFF D stress. So I'll check in in another four hours and I'll see you later. I put a bit of it under my eyes as well. Okay, so now it's 3.59 and I can safely say this this has a good wear to it. It's been really good throughout the day. Although I will say this, if you want a more dewy uh, finish, you will need to use a moisturiser or something to make it more, um, to make it more like slideable, like um, to make it more... Uh, I can't think of the word, but <laughs> um, to make it more of a, um, more easy to glide on the skin and just so it doesn't dry out so much because the dewy finish does go a bit due to the hyaluronic acid, I think, in it, in it, but it does seem to dry out a bit once it's, you know, been once you've worn it for a certain amount of time. Also, I have noticed it did sort of dry a bit orange in place, like on my neck. It sort of oxidised into a more of an orange, but once I rubbed it in, it was okay. Um, but just to point that out, um, in case that does, in, in case that would bother you, but you could, I think you can just rub it in rub that in and it won't, will go away unless it's just this particular shade and maybe it's not quite right on me. Um, I will say this though, if I'm going to wear it again, I will need to apply moisturiser with this so that it doesn't dry out into more than matte finish. Um, and maybe I'll use this with another foundation, mix it together or something. Um, because I do like this effect on my skin um, when I take this off because it's supposed to deal with your stress hormones and um, to uh, deal with the free radicals in the air, uh, pollution, ATV light, um, things like that. Uh, it's supposed to protect you from all of those things and stress, which is a great concept, really is. Um, and like I said, I love Trini Woodall and I think it's great how she has so many models for her um, for her Trini London and her Trini Tribe. I think it's a great idea to include all kinds of people and men and women, all different races different backgrounds. I think it's amazing. Um, I just, I think she's great. And I love watching her videos, as I've said before. And uh, she just comes across as so confident, even when, even when she has her clumsy moments, she just takes on a stride. And she is definitely someone I would aspire to be like. Absolutely, because um, 
when I make mistakes, I'm not so bold as you might have seen. Uh, but I am trying to take a leaf out of her book and make it, you know, less perfect. You know, just just enjoy making the videos. You're not going to be to everyone's tastes and that's just how it is, you know. Um, but I do think this has a great wear and it is lovely. It is. It does feel like a treat when you're putting this on. It really does. Um, I would recommend it, definitely. It's just for me personally, I need to do something more specialised with this so it works more with my particular skin tone because it's so unique. Even Trini can't cover it. Because <laughs> um, it's, it's like it's in between light and lightest. Because this foundation did dry a bit orange on me. But that's just how it is. And no one's at fault. Even, you know, I don't think you can possibly cover all skin tones. You know, there are so many skin tones. I don't think you can cover every single one. I think you can only just get it closest to whatever you are. Um, or maybe you'll have to try a different brand sometimes. That's just how it is. It's nobody's fault. I'm not faulting her on that one at all because, you know, she is very inclusive. So it might just be, just so happens that it just doesn't work for my particular skin tone. But everyone's different. Um, Sometimes I uh, pretend to be Trini Woodall in, uh, front, in front of man. I go, uh, and um, I could just imagine Trini Woodall saying this in front of the camera. Are you going to do some yoga today, darling? No, I'm not. Why not, darling? It'll make you feel so much better, darling. Trini Woodall, darling. Trini London, darling. <laughs> I think it'd be so funny if she did something like that. <laughs> it would be really funny. Um... Because I do that impression of her all the time. It drives mum and dad nuts. <laughs> but I love doing it. Because I love her. I, ju I, just, I just love how she comes across. And it's so fun. Um, well, I'm going to wear this for another four hours. And I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back from the last for the last check-in. And this has become a lot more matte. Uh, I feel like a lot of the dewy um, finish is gone and uh, it has dried up quite, you know, quite a bit. It does, it, it has been getting a bit cakey in some areas. Um, you know, I will say this about the product. Uh, I love, like I said, I love Trini Budol. Um, but I do have to say this about the product. Uh, you need, I, I do think for myself, I don't know if this goes for everyone because everyone has a different skin type, but for mine, I need to have a bit of moisturiser with it or it can just dry up. In certain areas like my cheeks, it, it just, it dries up. Um, so, I think even on the forehead, it, it's um, slightly dry. Um, but uh, I, I do like, you know, the technology behind it. The SPF 30 protection is great. Um, I just think for me, I need to use more of a, a, like a different foundation with it or something so that it goes into the right colour. And I need to use a moisturiser with this to make it so it doesn't dry up so much. Um, so thank you for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and sorry, forgive the dogs. Byron, our Labrador, is just running wild because Dobby is barking. Dobby's a West Island Terrier and Byron's a Labrador. And you know, they can just, um, when Dobby barks, Byron, the Labrador, he, he just, 
runs around like a nutter. <laughs> and it's so funny. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. I'll see you later. I'm going to get my, uh, my cleanse, moisturise and get washed for tomorrow. So thank you for watching. See you guys later.